What is going on guys? I'm Chase Yoder and today we're bringing the ponds back to life. As you can see, the weeds are absolutely taking over the landscape. From here, all the way through here, it's an absolute jungle. I mean, I have a path beat down now. But look at this place, it looks absolutely horrible. So what we're gonna do today is take a weed whacker, weed whack all of this, all the way down through here then once i'm done chopping everything down then i'm gonna spray it with roundup so let's get to it All right, so now that we got everything chopped down, got to rake it all up, put it in the tractor, and then take it over to the weed pile, and then weed whack the rest of it all down. Come on, dude. Come on. Also, for those of you who don't know the pond dog by now, this is Gabby. Say hi, Gabby. She needs a haircut. But this is Gabby, I call her Doom. She loves tractor rides. Ain't it Doom? the most of it raked up with the first layer with the trimmers then I'm gonna grab the weed whacker and chop the rest of it right to the ground So I just finished up weed whacking and we are now to the ground. As you can see, it looks a whole lot better than it did, but the downside is the pond is absolutely filled with grass. So that being said, I'm gonna have to now clean all of this out of the pond so the filters don't get clogged up and everything. I actually have them shut off right now because, I mean, if you have the filters running and you have this mess, it, it just doesn't make sense. We are now going to spray everything and hopefully tomorrow it will all be eliminated and two days from now I can then do one final weed whack, be done, rake everything out, blow everything out with the blower and it should be almost done and prepped for rock. And the reason I am doing Riverstone is because it's so much more cost efficient more than mulch and that way you do it one year and maybe a couple years later you have to fill it in a little bit. Plus I cannot wait to see how it turns out as well. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful. I 
guys, so we are back. I just went and got the stone with the dump truck. As you can see, the dump truck's loaded up. We got two wheelbarrows ready to go, so we're gonna get to it. Those of you who do not know Dave, this is my good buddy Dave, he's one of my best friends and he is helping me out today with all this and you will be seeing him in a lot of hunting videos this winter. back today last night as you can see it got very windy and it was an absolute torrential downpour so that being said we are now back today working it's beautiful it's sunny and it is getting hot so I do want to get this done pretty quick we got most of it done so far and the rock is really dirty right now so we came from there all the way I'm actually gonna put a shrub there but I don't have one with me today I gotta go get one and then fill in this little gap but the reason i kept this little gap and in the wind last night this stick fell down so we kept this little gap right here because so we can just get the wheelbarrow in here get back here and come all the way to the waterfall right here but all that being said we have this part done got the little stepping stones got all this done and I cannot wait to see the rock once I do wash it off. I washed a little bit off right here, but 
once it is all washed off and done it is gonna look absolutely beautiful we also ran out of stone last night but it was actually the perfect timing as soon as the storm started i mean we just finished so right now we are going to go down to the stockyard get another dump truck load of rock and then we're coming back to finish Ready to go? Are you ready? You ready to finish, pal? Let's finish it up, pal. That's right. Right, guys so I just finished up on the rock and it looks absolutely incredible I am I'm blown away by how it turned out really and it was it was so worth all the time and work so as you can see right here the rock still is dirty so I, I still got to wash everything off with the hose but I mean it looks absolutely awesome compared to what it looked like 